Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. This week, we take a look at the very strange goings-on in Shropshire. Thank you, Doug. This week has a lot of news, so let's get started. First up, one of Ben's predictions has finally come true, but it's probably the easiest prediction he could possibly have made. A new hadrosaur has been described. It was described from sets of bones discovered in the 1970s from the late Cretaceous Merchantville Formation in New Jersey and Delaware. Also described from the same area is a new tyrannosaur. Neither have been properly named yet and are just referred to as the Merchantville Hadrosaur and the Merchantville Tyrannosaur. It's thought that the tyrannosaur could be Dryptosaurus, but more research needs to be done. What makes the specimen so interesting is that they fill a gap in the evolutionary record of the area. They display clear diversion evolution from other hadrosaurs and tyrannosaurs. They represent the stage of speciation caused by the split of Laramidia from Appalachia by the Western Interior Seaway. There are clear but small differences between the newly described fossils and their relatives in the Western United States that shows the effect the breakup had. Next up is the big news. A new species of mosasaur has been described. Ectenosaurus evahartorum was found in Kansas and interestingly lived at roughly the same time as the tyrannosaur and hadrosaur I just mentioned above. 80 million years ago, this mosasaur was swimming in the Western Interior Seaway. Even more strangely, the bones of the mosasaur were also first collected in the 1970s and have only just been described this week. Only the fossilized jaw and a few teeth were recovered, but from that we can tell this mosasaur strongly resembles a modern day false gharial, if you're looking for a way of imagining it. It is estimated to have been 5.5 meters long, with a thin snout perfect for catching fast fish, just as many gharials do. Finally today, we're looking at some police and crime news. After being seized in a police raid at Santos Harbor in Sao Paulo in 2013, one of the most complete tapijarid fossils has now finally been described in a paper after being handed over to the University of the same city. The fossil is remarkably well preserved, even containing the soft tissue of the pterosaur's crest and keratin of its beak. The specimen was recovered alongside 3,000 other specimens in the original raids in 2013. All the papers from today's episode can be found in the description and I encourage you all to go read them because they can probably explain everything here a lot better than I can. Thank you, Ollie. That's intriguing stuff. And now over to Alex with the history news. Thanks, Doug. This week in history news, a castle was found underneath a co-op car park in- Thank you, Alex. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next Wednesday.